Welcome back! In the previous part, we explored this wish well town here, but I did a little playing around in between the parts. I noticed the adventure diary, and there's guild cards in it, so we can, I can have a look at. So let's, let's have a look at the guild cards. We've got Neptune's one here, like the Falling Star Newbie Knight, of course. First, Game Industries Protag, who's ready to go. Second, Cheating equals X, I'm not sure what that's about. Third, let's all nep up the king of the demon realm, Neptune. I don't know what she's on about there. And we got Noirs here, Black Knight who cuts through darkness. Last Station CPU Noir Blackheart, currently helping as an official model. Oh, oh, all right, fair enough. Let's all enjoy early access. I'm open for friend requests, so feel free to send one. All right, Blan. I'm the healing medicine. Are you now? Hmm. I'm new to support, so I'll try my best. I will be publishing a new book, Creative Novel, at the next summer event. One book, 250 credits. First buyers get a bonus short story booklet. Ooh, interesting. Vert! Protector of Little Sisters, of course. I'm a huge fan of Four Goddesses Online. My other account is Greenheart. I welcome all friend requests from beginners or experienced gamers. Bouquet is my younger sister. Sure she is. And speaking of Bouquet, we've got one down here. Royal Geist? Not sure. And he's got a little NPC logo there as well. One of the guardian spirits who serve the four goddesses. One of a family who have been charged with the mission to protect Alsgard for generations as their goddesses aids. Alright, fair enough. Right, that's all there is for now. So let's go speak with Noir. I wonder what kind of material would be good for this one. I really don't feel like spending a lot of money on it either. Hmm. Oh, is she having a photo shoot? She did say she was going to be a model. So about Noir turning around and having a little photo shoot by herself. What? Oh, when did you all log in? I pressed that too soon. Little lady, it's all nice and dandy to take pictures of yourself, but you'd be better off taking one with me. Come on, baby, bring it in. Neptune, Noir is currently infatuated with her own image. I would advise against getting in the way of a person photographing her infatuations. No, that's not what... No, I... Well, it's just for reference. Hey, get off me. You're clinging too hard. Reference? Oh, I get it. You mean for cosplaying. Let me explain. In real life, Noir is a cosplayer and hits up... D I, I can't say the word. I, I actually need to make a, a video trying to say that word for the other channel, don't I? Because that would be a good one to say. Doojin? That'll do. Events pretty regularly, but she's still trying to hide it from everybody. No, oh, what? Uh, stop talking. Stop that right now. What if someone hears you? You know, Noir, there really isn't any point in trying to hide this anymore. Everyone already knows. Hello again out there in VG land. V VG land? All right, oh, video game land, oh, of course. Let me explain, again. Blonde here is an avid writer and is often seen showing up to these same Dujin events. Hey, Neptune. Yay, those who run away to laugh another day. What, Th those who run away live to laugh another day, okay. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a damn minute. But your ability to be so transparent about your MMO obsession, or your love for BL, Borderlands, of course, and adult games is strangely impressive. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous. Oh, my. Thank you, Noir. Would you like to follow my example and hold a commemorative photo shoot with just the two of us? No, just go away already. Dear, oh dear, Noir. Oh, oh yeah, that, that was the one. 
As I mentioned in the previous part, there was, there was a character design that I liked that was one of these chibi things. It's this one, isn't it? Sharia. And the leader of the Black Knight Guild. Oh, you. You smell very good. Oh, all right then. Sort of reminds me of Red thinking about it. Just gonna... Is she actually drool? Oh, no, she's not drooling. It's just... I think it was this. It, there was a trail of this from the cursor. And it looked like she was drooling. All right, so. Blan. And the next person may enter. Sister, will you listen to me? Yes, I am only able to listen, but if that will suffice, I will listen to you for as long as you need. That's perfectly fine. So, my avatar's appearance in the- oh, really? Really, Blan? <sighs> so, my avatar's appearance in this game, to be honest, when I was creating my character, I- well, I, um... I made my chest a little bit bigger. When I was first creating my avatar, that's bigger? Yeah. When I was first creating my avatar, it was actually much bigger, but I thought Neptune and Vert would just rag on me for it, so... I figured no one would notice if I only made it a little bigger. It's just a little avatar, so it's okay, right? I mean, there are guys on here pretending to be girls. Uh, making my own chest just a little bit bigger is, isn't so bad, is it? Do you feel guilt about lying? If I'm being honest, I feel kind of uncomfortable. Yeah, that's because it's it's not who you are, and you want your avatar be a sort of representation of who you are. And it's it's not that. It's not that blonde. It, it's not you. Oh, if they grew just a little bit in real life, I wouldn't have to feel like this at all. I've seriously asked friends about foods that might help, and I've tried so many things. I really have, and even still... Why? Why won't they even get a freaking tiny bit bigger? Just one millimetre! Come on, extra bit chuck! I, I don't know if I went a bit too far, then. Um, I, I'm certain it will be okay. You won't die from a smaller chest, and I believe that most people aren't truly concerned with such things. I don't give a damn about most people. I'm concerned about it, okay? Me! I'm freaking concerned with such things! Oh, goodness. Uh, please guide... Please, please guide this... Wait, wait, we'll start... We'll start. I, I think I said goodness, didn't I? I was thinking more nip gear then. Oh, goddesses. Please guide this lost little lamb. Dear, oh dear, Blon. Oh, hello. My name is Kirio. Oh, alright then. The man who's overcome death several times. I swear on my honor that I'll finish this game solo. But you're not the reference to Kirito. I mean, you clearly are a reference to Kirito because you've got dual blades and you've got, like, you're, you're the black swordsman. But we already have it. We've got two references to Kirito in this? That's odd. Anyway, Neptune. Hey, hey there. So, what do you think about Four Goddesses Online? Who's this? Some pleasant young man. I think, therefore, I am. You know what I think. I think that Des Cartridge fellow was really onto something when he wrote that. Des Cartridge? Heard that AI that controls the NPCs is really advanced in this, in its conversational ability. I think I agree. Uh, nothing feels off about it at all to me. It does seem pretty functional. And they just need to test it in open beta, I suppose. But yeah, I agree. Bouquet feels like a real person, too. It probably is. It's like, knowing how these games work, it's probably R4. No, I'll have none of that. She is real. She is alive in this world that we are in. Alive, huh? Hmm. Well, compared to the other NPCs, Bouquet's communication skills are on an entirely different level. Yeah, it's almost like she's a real person. That much is true. I said this before, but I'm pretty sure this is Planetune's technology. They really are years ahead with their communications AI. Do you remember when they were pioneering pioneering that strange research in all of the nations? Were they? I don't remember this. The one where people smoke smoke? Yep. Spoke to amphibians through a screen? What's that a reference to? Hmm. Four Goddesses Online is an IP of all 
four of the nations, so each one must be providing some element of their own specialized technologies. Or not? Wait, was that Noir saying something really great about my dear Planetune? Oh, come on, t t don't take it the wrong way. All I was saying was that uh, th there was one thing that was it was really good at, that's all. <laughs> you are such a sundere. In any case, highly developed AI truly are not di distinguishable from humans. I will be speaking with Bouquet as if she were my real little sister. I mean, she's not. She's not. I'm not sure I understand how we arrived at the topic of your relationship with your real little sister. Indeed. Right, so, oh, Sakuya. Hmm, so you're going to gather the sacred treasures with that equipment? Well, what's wrong with our, what's wrong with our equipment? Let's check the guild, anyway. This is the guild. It is an organization where adventurers help each other out. Here, various quests are collected from the residents of Allsgard. Some of these quests will progress the main story as well. Hmm, so we accept a quest, fulfill its requirements, then report it. That's how we complete the quests, right? I mean, it's fairly standard. Lots of games have quests. They're even in our real lives, but hey, can't live with them, can't live without them. Indeed, indeed. Whether in a game or in real life, the importance of work doesn't change for some people. Oh, I wonder what she meant by that. La 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 la, I can't hear you. Indeed. Ah, about the guild. The guild is a facility where quests are accepted and reported. The story advances as quests are, are completed. Quests, is, I don't know, are completed. Some sub-events only occur within specific quests. Oh. Does it tell me which ones? Quests can be accepted according to one's guild rank, and multiple quests can be accepted at a time. It's recommended to accept any and all uncleared quests. Quests are split into five types, and they all wield a different purpose. Certification quests, for example, are able to increase one's guild rank. So this is sort of more fairy fencerish, isn't it? Rewards can be gained by reporting completed quests to the guild. Guild ranks will only increase if completed quests are reported, however. So, what? Guild ranks will only increase if completed quests are reported, however, so be careful. I don't know why we've got to be careful. Alright. Welcome to the guild. Thank you! So, let's have a look at guild rank 1. So, we got a little get items quest and... Get yeah, items quest. Alright then, but I assume. You've accepted, you've accepted, but we'll just get them all. You've, you've accepted the quest. I have Good accepted luck. the quest. Thank you. You've accepted the quest. Good luck. Do you have another line? Probably not. So I can't get anything there, obviously. Can I report anything? Oh, we got one of them done. Finished the quest, huh? Yes. Good job. First job. That is definitely Fairy Fencer, though. That clear. I, I'm sure I've seen that before. It's got that look to it. Be careful out there. I'll try. Right, so let's go to Pierre's Emporium. I'll read the little thing at the bottom this time. A comprehensive store that's open 24-7. A great ally to adventurers, as it stocks everything from consumable items to equipment. This seems to be a general store run by an NPC. We can purchase recovery items and equipment. I'm sure everyone out there knows this already, but... Buying the equipment is only half the battle. Don't forget to equip it. Yeah. Yeah, like, like I'd forget to equip, like, a sword or, or, or something like that, yeah. We can sell items we don't need anymore, too. Let's remember that if we ever need more funds during our journey. Yeah, at least we can sell weapons in this game, Blon, unlike some other games that I could mention. Dear, oh dear. About Pierre's Emporium. Pierre's Emporium deals consumable items and equipment. Recovery items are absolutely essential in ensuring your adventure will progress safely. Although purchased items can be viewed from the menu, consumable items are used via item set. These items, in particular, can only be used when roaming dungeons. Welcome! Thank you! I like your giant purse thing, yes. Let's have a look here. So I want to see if we get anything. Embrace of the Goddess. Here's all status effects. I'm going to leave it for now. Because I don't know how many of these things I'll need. So we'll leave it for now. 
Please, come again. I will. Right, what else is around? So we've got the cathedral, but we've been in there. So let's go into the training grounds. A place for adventurers to improve their skills. You can take part in various practical combat training, as well as browse documents you've seen up till now. This is the training area. It is the perfect place to practice the basic controls. It's this one piece of music, isn't it? This one's like, we know now that I've turned the music down by half. And this piece of music is still a bit louder than the rest. It's important to have a facility where you can learn the controls. Having a good foundation before a real battle is very reassuring. Yes, it, it would actually help to have such things around. What? Can't I just figure it out while I'm fighting in a dungeon? Whatever happened to winging it? Yeah, it doesn't always work like that. Good luck with that, Neptune. You know, the enemy won't go easy on you just because you don't know how to fight. About the training grounds. The training grounds are a great facility to utilize when a player needs to better familiarize, familiarize there we go, oneself with controls or review tutorials. Basic training may be selected to practice controls, and tutorials may be selected in order to review tutorials that have already been completed. I'll obviously give that a go in between the parts. I think that's probably best. I'll be waiting. All right then. Takes a while to load that, so I'm wondering if it's loading an actual like dungeon to participate in that sort of thing. Right. So, is there anything else we can check before we go off to the bulletin board? See if there's actually anyone playing, like un unspecified. Let's start to search. Okay, I'm not going to do it. No rooms fa found matching the conditions. It's like it, there's potential that I'm the only one, like in Europe at the moment, playing it, and that might be what's going on there. It's like that feels weird saying that, thinking about it. Right, so to the world map. Ding. You can now go to a new map. Alpha Plains and Logie Mountain. Well, that's obviously... Ooh, what's that in the middle? No idea. But we've been there, obviously. Ooh, there's a place there as well. Very nice, very nice. There's a bit of motion blur in this. So I, I noticed that, again, in the Japanese version, didn't I? It's like it has the potential to cause a bit of a headache. That's that potential. Right, Logie Mountain. A trail to an active volcano. The land has many steps to the crater, obstructing adventurers. Uh, yes, I'll enter the dungeon. Here we go! Indeed. Let's breeze through this. Now then, I wonder what sort of monsters are here. I hope we don't run into any strong ones. Nah, we're fine. Don't even worry about it. Oh? Just how can you be so sure? Because this is still early in the game. Super buff monsters wouldn't even show up right now. Nap, you keep letting your guard down like this, and you're gonna be the first one to eat dirt. Now, now, I will make sure to support everyone using the instincts I have gained through many long years of gaming. There's no need to worry. Ooh, as expected of our resident gamer junkie, so reliable. According to Bouquet, there should be a sacred treasure sealed in this mountain. Let us gather our strength and move onward. Well, we know one thing. We know one thing that it's got over SAO. I can understand what's going on during the battles with what they're saying. What was that? I got an Easter egg something? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I can I can understand what they're saying. It's not like, well, I might have to watch that back later or just forget it ever happened. Because that was my real problem with SAO. Main, mainly in the, like, the flying ones, like Lost Song in the, um... What was the name of the latest one? Ax Axel World versus SAO. That one. It's like... They were a real issue because I can't understand what they're saying. I forgot how to defend. That's not good, is it? I was defending very nicely and now I suddenly forgot. Just keeping an eye on like what these enemies do and stuff. and Trying to learn their mechanics. Like that. It's like I, I want to try and take advantage of the little swing she does whenever she defends. Well, hello. What's that? 
Did it die? We quite a oh mandragora. Yes, we were told to look out for them, weren't we? This treasure's mine. Ugh, that's weird. Her voice stays at the chest. Yeah. Well, that didn't go well. So if I can, I want to try and make it so they get away from each other. Because if they're together, it's like you can easily get caught in like splash damage, which could be a problem. That's the Mandragora there, wasn't it? I think they explode, if I recall correctly. I think it's like the top of this mountain. It's basically as far as I got in the Japanese version, isn't it? So like after that point, I don't know what's going on anymore. Which is good, which is fun, because I, I do want that now. I, I didn't have much of a clue what was going on before anyway, but... Gotta learn to time that better. It's like, is it, is it when it hits? Like, see that works, but I felt like it hit me. So that was way too early. That was way too late. And you aren't even attacking me right now. Really should use some skill, shouldn't I? Get their guard down, that's what I should be doing. What, what are you attacking? What, what are you doing down there, bird? Should we, I want to go up the mountain, but like, there's, there's a chest down there. I remember seeing this emerald one before. Again, it's in the Japanese version. It's weak against ice, apparently, but I haven't got ice. Who's got ice skills? Like, is there an easy way to switch characters? That should be something I should look into. Let's get you dead. This guard's gone. Oh, there's nothing else. Use key. Oh. We finished a quest. But yeah, we've not got a key there, an emerald key or whatever we needed. What was it? Does it say anywhere? I think it said somewhere, but I've, I've already forgotten what key I need. It's got to be green. We know that much. I picked this up. Y you did, yes. It's it's so weird that a voice isn't at her. It's... It's, it's, it's sort of like wherever you do the action. That's where her voice is. Seems to be weak to every magic from the what I saw in the little icony thing up there. So if I just attack it with fire and then get in there like crazy, yeah, that's the best way to do it for them. So I've just got to look out for its weakness. I li like that it does say its weakness though. So I can take advantage of that really easily. That one's weak to everything as well. Level up, though. Yeah, yeah, I think we're getting the hang of that with the using the magic, etc. Gotcha. Right, so this is going to take us back to town, isn't it? So we don't want that just yet. Or maybe I do. Maybe I do, like, I could go hand in the quest, couldn't I? But nah, I'll wait, I'll wait. We'll get to the top as soon as possible. Boing! Like a kangaroo. I just wondering, does she actually say that? I know, she, again, she said it in the Japanese version. Like a kangaroo. Thank you, that's all I needed to know. That's got some flying ones now. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Keep pressing the wrong button. I keep trying to defend and then pressing the target button. But because I'm targeting something, it instantly goes off the target. Which is not good, is it? Oh, is the other one dead? I picked this up. Yet again, it went off to the left, didn't it? It's, it's a bit... We did it. Ooh, a uh, leaf of live it, live in the... Like, like the, the, the world tree thing. Why are you targeting that one? It's like... Targeting this one here, I want it anyway. Oh, it's like I was doing well then on the defending. Need to look and see if I've got any new skills for leveling up. Because I could have done. And I've just not actually paid attention to it. So let's have a do, do look at that now. So, skill set. Do I have anything new? 
No. No, I don't. Um, I'm not going to mess around with changing the characters just yet. I, I just had an inkling of like, maybe I should change. It's like, no, we'll, we'll do like a little boss first. I think I think that's probably best. It's a magic god. I, uh, well, that died pretty fast. Look, I, I need some other magics. That, that's what I feel I need. Like, I need... I, I probably play a, um... Distance DPS class, because when I played World of Warcraft and etc, etc, I always played, like, magic characters. It's like warlocks and mages and stuff like that. So, it, like, it feels... I should go with one of those characters. Although in Final Fantasy... 15, I have been playing around with... The, uh, Machinist. I can't remember what it's called now, but the one with the gun. So I may even play as Uni, assuming I can do that, like play at a range with her when we get round to her. So we got another level up though. Do we want to go this way or is it the other way? Like a kangaroo. Like a kangaroo. Why is it targeting like the furthest one away? This is this reminds me a bit of Lost Song where it's like, what's going on with the targeting? I'm too busy looking in the distance. It's like, no, pay attention to the battle. Stop looking at that chest and being like, ooh, I need to get that. I wish it would target, like, the next one. Like, after one's died, it target the one closest to you. So it just get you more smoothly in battle. That sort of thing. It's like, get a pattern going. What's the noise? I don't know. Oh, there's some Koopa kitties down there. So this is a whole other area or something like that. Like, that I... Again, like we ran away from that, and you can hear it was behind us. Very weird, very weird. We're still going to proceed upwards, I think. It's probably best. I don't need to explore everywhere, do I? I was going to do one of every enemy. That, that's what I should do. Yeah, so I think at the moment we'll just do stuff like this, and then I'll do one of every enemy in future. I'll make a cut and like go level up or something like that. What? Oh, there's one still. Oh, hello, Magigora. Such a weird laugh from those mandragoras. Crystalline waters. What's a nice bridge? Wouldn't that burn? Like the temperature's here. Surely that would burn. There's little embers flying around, so... you think it would burn. Ouch, indeed. I pressed the wrong button again. Is he saying cutta, 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 cutta? Seeing how much damage stuff does. And again, completely forgetting to guard. He's definitely saying kata 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 kata. Something like that. Not sure. Let's get this chest of it. There's another emerald chest there. It's like I recognize some of these places. When I previously played, it's just like I know there's a way up somewhere. I was going to say, when am I going to drop down onto the ground? It says it won't hit, but... It's like I do get hit, and then she does the... Little attack that she does after that. Like there, it's like, I, I'm sure I got hit just then. I'm not sure, like, there's, there's something on there. Indeed. Right, we need magic on you, that'll get your guard down. Get in there, destroy it. Up slice. I need some more skills. I, I, I'm already feeling that. Like, I, I need more than fire and up slice. So I can just have, have a little play around. That's probably best. It's, it's I, like, there you go. There you go. Like, what happened if I fell in the lava? Would I have died? Potentially, yes. This feels like the right way. It's got that feeling of like I eventually discovered this place previously. I got your guard down. Oh, we're not gonna have SP. It's like, although we had a little bit of a frame rate dip. Okay. 
little frame rate dip at the start of this area. It seems like once we've progressed, like the frame rate's like fine. Like there's there's no no issue with it at all. Like a kangaroo. Like a kangaroo. This is for the emerald, yeah, yeah, the emerald chest. Because there was definitely like an, a little bit of lag when I was using some of the attacks. Now it's like no, there's no issue at all. Like why did you select that one? Clearly wasn't like maybe it's the closest to the center of the screen. Something like that. That's all I can think of. Seem to be stunning enemies as we attack them as well. What are these things? Like loads of new enemy types in this. Which is nice. Like the We've only really had the Dogus, the Flowers, the Koopa Kitties, but they're sort of like staple enemies of this series now, really, aren't they, so... Owie, indeed. I've got, I've got to learn to do this one better. I just noticed it's weak to fire. What am I doing? It's like, attack it with fire. Got to pay attention to the stuff in the top left a lot more, I feel. Skiller. That, that's a weird name for a trophy. Skiller. Not so many skills used, just you're, you're a skiller. Or maybe it's a play on killer. Could be. Could be. Right, are we near the top yet? I feel like we are, because we're, we're nearing the event. Let's get that. Found an item. Indeed. Huh? Right, so if I remember correctly, there's going to be a boss through this one, so let's I'll use this. do that. Maybe there wasn't. It was an, I'm not sure. I'll use an item. Trying to I'll remember what these this. items actually do. Here. What's going on down there? Like, okay, you know you can jump like a kangaroo. Yeah. All right, you just move back and forth. It's it's fine. Boing. Boing. Like a kangaroo. Is this the place Bouquet was talking about? You have all made it safely to the location of the seal. Bouquet! Oh, I am ever so glad we can meet during every important event. Oh dear, oh dear. I've been meaning to say this for a while now, but this is very embarrassing. I still feel I need to turn the music volume down a bit. I, I think I'll take it down to maybe 35, 40, something like that. Nonsense, my dear. Goodness. We are sisters. There's no reason whatsoever to be embarrassed. Come now. Allow me to spoil you even further. When I'm surrounded by the bouncy, my head gets all fuzzy. I feel as if I'm being hypnotized. So now she's just saying they're sisters like it's a matter of fact. She's not even asking anymore. I'm starting to think the poor thing is warming up to it, too. Hey, Bouquet, you feeling all right? I, I mean, does she look all right? Oh, I, I shouldn't be doing this. Please, take a look at this small shrine. Hello? Hey, there is a very suspicious looking monument. Yes, by writing a spell into this monument, you will be able to obtain the sacred treasure known as the Amethyst Glass. Ooh, a password, huh? Let me see... Pudding is the best thing in the world. Really? You didn't even capitalize the P. Goodness, Neptune, please give that to me. I have something much better than that. I... I don't want to know, do I? My adorable little sisters, Nepgear and Bouquet. So she's still holding on to Nepgear as well. Ha 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 There, that should do it. Ha 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 is part of it. Excuse me, Bert, cut it out. And Neptune, I know this goes against everything you stand for, but try to take this seriously for once in your... That worked? Acquired the Amethyst Glass. Okay? Congratulations! Both of you have successfully released the seal on the sacred treasure. That... That was the password? Furthermore, 
The goddess's blessing you currently wield has been enhanced. The power of awakening may now be used during battle. Okay. Oh, I was simply joking. And yet, I have gained a wonderful new power. How unexpected. It's like... You could hear then that Vert was her normal self with the little bit at the start, and then was like, uh, no, I, I, me I meant to project a, a certain voice here. Impossible. How could that have been the password? What's going on here? Yes, it's very suspicious. Oh, I've forgotten to tell you. There are some things not yet implemented since this is the beta. For example, the password for this monument. Oh, so they could have said anything. Because of this, whatever password a player submits, as arbitrary as it may be, will be considered acceptable. I can't really believe that passwords like those would work under any circumstance ever. But I guess this works out for us in the end. I suppose. Beta? Implementation? This may sound weird coming from me, but is this little fairy NPC supposed to be breaking the fourth wall like this? Uh, what? I, I mean, that's that's so weird. Like Neb's pointing out that a character in a game is breaking the fourth wall. R right. Huh? Um, please just take what I said as a notice from the administrators for now. That is so weird. You see, they are also testing my learning ability during beta, so my speech program has no filters currently, other than confidential and banned terms. No, no naughty words. Of course, when the game officially releases, I'm certain I would be restricted from using any speech that would break a player's immersion. Hmm... Which is to say, this is the only time I will be able to enjoy conversing with you as your true self, okay? Oh, oh my. Is it possible that once the beta has finished, you will forget the conversations we've had all together? I, I, that might be actually worth, worth doing, yes. I am not certain if my memory will be erased or not. I believe that's dependent on the conscience of adventurers like you. Ah, uh, hmm. Right. Wasn't there that story about an AI who learned some strange things and had to be frozen? Nobody teach her anything weird, okay? What? But what are you? What? What's she on about? Do not. Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? I haven't made a save for a while, so back in a second. Do not worry. These memories will be protected with my life. My love for Bouquet will overcome every obstacle. I swear it. Okay. We're, we're back, obviously. I, I, I think Vert's emotions crashed the game. Now then, I think I'll enter a password too. Pass. Word. All right, done. N never make your password. Pass. Word. Never do that. Uh, Lon, don't you think you're being a little... How do you say... Naive? Haphazard? Careless? Ugh, here. Let me do it. Let's see. Well, it is our first sacred treasure, so I'll take Last Station's birthday and add... One, two, three. No one would ever guess this. Uh, again... Terrible. There you have it, folks. The most naive password in the history of passwords. Who's naive now, Noir? Sheesh. Sh shut up! It's just a birthday and some numbers, that's all. Besides, I wouldn't use this as a password in the real world. Uh-huh. What, what did you use it as a password for? Are you sure about that? Hey, come on! This doesn't really matter, right? We got the sacred treasure already. Yes, we have completed our mission. We may now move on to more important matters. <clears throat> Bouquet, we can finally spend some quality time together in private. Third, can you stop it? I don't want the game to crash again. Something that wasn't too overwhelming, if that's okay with you. 
Oh my, I've finally been accepted. Splendid! Yes, of course, let's begin with something light. Perhaps a simple game of tag. Yes, of course. Come along, Bouquet, over here. Do try and catch me if you can. <laughs> That's really into this. And so is the voice actress. Um, um, okay, please, wait for me. Well, at least everything's going smoothly. I've actually turned down the background music again, by the way. I, d I did turn it down to 35. Man, it's been a while since I've seen such a happy vert. She got pretty happy just logging into this place, but now I don't really see her ever wanting to log out of it. Yeah, it it's like she's a different person when she's inside the game. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. About awakening, uh, press L3 when the awakening gauge is filled. Where's the awakening gauge? Oh, it's on the left. Has filled to one or more to activate awakening. It will increase damage inflicted upon enemies and also provide other benefits. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to end this part here and in the next part we'll probably head through this thing and go back to town and probably see a scene with the um, CPU candidates because that's what I remember happening. So yeah, we'll see you then. Goodbye for now.